Hi, Cancer. Right as I was about to start your reading, it started to pour completely unexpectedly just now. And everyone is like running, like grabbing their stuff because it was completely unexpected. The sky was totally clear a second ago and now it's pouring rain. So because it's very windy out here, I'll shuffle out here. We can talk out here and then I'll put the cards out on the bed in there and we can look at the cards in there just so they don't fly away and I don't have to hold them down the whole time. But let's talk first. So this is very appropriate. Sudden bursts, flashes of emotion. Uh, why aren't people taking me seriously? Why aren't people respecting how much I do for them. Why aren't they seeing all the little ways in which I'm really quite an asset to them? Why is it that the people I work with, you see like I can't sit still. I'm very like fidgety. It's like your energy is very like, I don't understand why do I have to keep adjusting myself and my work why do I have to keep adjusting to what these people or this thing or whatever I know what I'm doing is great why is this a question like I don't get it and when you have all this good luck coming in and you have this like water trine happening you have Jupiter that's in Scorpio you have the new moon in Pisces you are just like right there receiving all this, you know, huge amounts of pulling great energy, good luck, manifestation, just like we talked about last month, hyper manifestation. Now that even, you know, going into even more of an overdrive. And so then not being given credit, not being recognized is even more absurd because it's like no but I'm in hyper manifestation mode like I'm doing all the things I should be you know like I should be recognized for this I should be getting a raise not have to fight for days to work I should be you know praised for what I brought in instead of being criticized and sent back to the drawing board you know um why Although I can feel and see how good I am doing with whatever I'm doing, why am I having to fight these sort of petty battles with people? Um, you know, it, it's about not wanting to be redundant. It's about not wanting to go to this place where a sunny day all of a sudden turns into pouring rain because you just like have had enough, you know? And so now if it's not gonna be sunny, you know, for you, then it's not gonna be sunny for anybody because like you're tired. Um, and that is the other side of the hyper manifestation coin. So it's worth talking about. Uh, with the really, really sunny days do also come the sudden storms. And it's to be expected, but more importantly, they are, your emotions are a barometer, you know, for you and for everyone else, but perhaps more so for you than for most. Your emotions are a barometer of how aligned you are with whatever you decided to do with this life before you got here. So the more and more you fall in line with whatever you predetermined for yourself was your lesson to learn this time around, the more and more you fall in line with learning that lesson, the more calm you become, the more sure of things you become. But not in a way where you are sure of specifics, but more uh, trusting of things flowing to you. And you become very receptive. So when you are in that state, your emotions will show you that because you won't have anxiety, you won't be upset, you won't be any of those things. But when you are super emotional, it's because you have moved 
uh, very far from whatever it is that you are trying to teach yourself without getting too, you know, existential. Now, the other side of the I can think it, I can create it, I can do it, I can make it happen, I am a cardinal sign. The other side of that coin is why can't you see that I'm doing it? Why am I not getting credit? Why am I being pushed to the side? Why am I not getting the success? What's going on with... And this is a very interesting Cancerian cycle. Um, cancers are jealous. Cancers are jealous lovers. We know that already. You know, that's not a surprise to anyone. I'm not saying anything that anyone doesn't know already. Um, Cancerians can be jealous friends, you know? Six of wands and eight of swords. Other people's success when we are in a place where we are expecting great success other people's success can mess with us a little bit um and the, the eight of swords is really a card of there's some self-pity involved there for sure you know for sure there's some self-pity involved there is a sense that this person is, for the most part, doing this to themselves. And when it comes up like this, especially when we were just talking about what we were talking about, it is this sort of outward success. It's a very public sort of success that the people around you are enjoying. And I'm not saying that you're not happy for them. But there is a part of you that's being eaten at because of it, because you... Uh, do feel especially from last month moving forward that it is your time and you can have the things that you want But you have to be very very careful because Although it is your time and you can have whatever you want um, Envy and jealousy is one of those things that really just poisons all your good karma It's uh, it's like dropping ink, you know in white paint like uh it taints your karma really, really badly. So uh, the cards right away sort of specifying that that's where you will find yourself as we open up into March, you know, just looking around and, and again, not being hostile, you know, like the Eight of Swords is it's about you. You know, you're not being hostile towards these people because they're successful. Not at all. Not at all. You're just bummed that you're not also at that level yet or whatever and you feel like you've been working on you feel like you deserve it and you know all that and then two cards in reverse queen of swords and the devil both in reverse so if you are dealing with a capricorn and a gemini a capricorn or a virgo and an aquarius or a taurus and a libra or any permutations you can think of there um there is a pretty strong chance that their success is making you feel weird. Um, and they're coming in upside down, not because they're actually upside down, but because you're viewing them from a place where you obviously cannot see very well. Your sight is all the way turned around. So uh, they, you know, what they really are is that they're doing really well, but the way it's like feeling to you is that like they're not with you. You know, like they started doing better than you and then they're not with you anymore. Something like that. Something like that. You feel left behind. You feel, even though ironically, there's so much good stuff happening for you and energetically, there's so much good stuff that's going to come to you. You just feel right now kind of like a failure, which is also weird because you have so much water energy this month just like dying to come to you. And it's going to be so beautiful. Um, but you have to get out of this. You, you have to get out of this. You do. You have to get out of it because it's, it's just tainting everything. So now a bunch of cards fell out. The lovers good the magician okay page of cups great we like that and the moon so I think the moon has come up in every reading 
that I've done out here on this balcony and I've done the three water signs now. Um, there are three moon events in March. It's rare and it is important. And the moon events are going to put a lot of energy, like it's going to, okay, it's like this. There's a lot of energy, right? But the way the placements are for you is that the energy is contained and then it's kind of just beamed right at you, right? So that's why I'm saying um, other people are doing well, great. You know, the only reason that seems at all weird to you is because you're, you know, in that eight of swords energy. If you get out of that, you know, downward spiral of like, uh, basically, you know, just uh, addicted to making yourself feel bad and move forward, move past it, what you will find is that you have a lot of uh, energy flowing to you, especially with the way the moon is going to be behaving, especially with that new moon in Pisces. You have so much energy. And like Scorpio, you come up here as the youthful version of yourself, which is awesome. Um, finding the tenderest, you know, within the shell version of yourself that can take advantage of these moon events, take advantage of this time of, you know, concentrating even further what you want to manifest, making even more cuts and edits and changes so you can um, perhaps realize that at the end of the day, the thing you thought you wanted the most is uh so different after you've cut and changed and edited once you actually thought you could have it uh what you ended up wanting was very different from what you thought you wanted all this time and if you're not there yet and if you still cannot see how what you really thought you wanted which you have such a hard time letting go if you really can't see how there's something so 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 much better uh that is going to be given to you and almost you know forced upon you now um, that's okay because it's coming in anyway. You know, it's just time for you to uh, understand that the packaging is not going to be the way you want it. And Cancerians are really, really stubborn. Like, I never fight with you guys about when you believe something. If you believe something, regardless of if it's completely ridiculous and there's no basis to it at all, no one's going to make you ever think any different. So I never try. I'm not the person who uh, fights like losing battles, you know. Um, so I never try to convince a cancer of something that they think they know. Uh, but that's really unfortunate, right? Like that should tell you a lot about how people um, interact with you because that is a liability. When people feel like they can't talk to you about something that they feel you are not perhaps right or correct about, you learn less because people aren't opening up to you and perhaps teaching you something. Now, along with that comes the fact that you have to let in people who will just be criticizing you for no reason or just taking shots at you and, you know, throwing subs at you. And that's, you know, that's to be expected as well when you're open and vulnerable to what others are saying. I'm not saying you should be open and vulnerable to what they think, but I'm saying that there are people around you that you will start to think about this month who have been telling you for quite some time that, um, whatever it is that you really were sure that this is the only thing and this is the only thing you can ever have and this is the only thing you really want and you know it's just not the it's not the move it's not what you think it is what did i say a gemini and right a capricorn or an aquarius or a, right that's what i said so that's the gemini card and you know the magician is someone who is lying so if you're in a third party situation cancer with someone um, and they are and you feel, you know, with the moon card there as well, things being revealed and you just feel like you are not being told, you know, the truth. Um, you know, I don't think you are. <laughs> I don't think you are. And I think the moon, I think the full moon in Virgo and also the new moon in Pisces is going to bring you a lot of clarity on that which you should have been uh, on uh, will bring you information that you should have been privy to from the beginning of whatever it is that you're dealing with the devil in reverse and the magician there's um, there's a commonality there of just being super dishonest and using things to their own uh, as part of their own you know scheme so uh not really being able to trust anything that they're saying whatsoever and the moon also associated with lies being revealed 
So uh, although I understand the Eight of Swords energy, and I understand how you could feel that way because of what's going on, um, you know, if this is a love situation, I think it's pretty obvious at this point, and I think you've known for a long time that that's not a situation that's working out very well. However, uh, the Magician and the Page of Cups, so this is also someone who has quite a lot of um, control over you somehow. They're able to manipulate you. It's almost as if you feel like they're smarter than you or something. I know you don't actually think that, but I think they make you think that. Um, and sometimes you believe them. And so I'm going to take these cards inside and we can look at the bottom of the deck a little bit and, um, and see how it looks. But I just wanted you to get this view and for us to get our cards out here and have the, you know, the water energy. But uh, yeah, so we'll look at them. I'll just go inside. I'll see you in a second. Hi. Okay, so let's look at these cards. So you can see when you look at them like this that these two people really have you somehow turned around. Their happiness is directly affecting you in a negative way. I'm not sure if these are two people, one of them is someone you wanted to be with, or um, they are experiencing a success that you really saw for yourself, or you were supposed to collaborate with them and didn't, I'm not sure what it is that brought you to this point where their happiness is equaling your sorrow, but we're there. So having said that, uh, the cards advise very strongly that you use this energy to move forward. When the Arcana comes up in reverse, it's because even the road sign that is presented to you is being taken the wrong way. You're going left with it. Um, the road sign that's being presented to you is to use that which is material and in your possession and at your disposal to use it for your gain at this time. But right now, even that which would be presented to you as a good thing is being taken as a negative. And I think this has everything to do with your emotional state. This is a very up and down kind of thing. So focusing on past just this week, past just this moment, past whatever is at the moment making you feel like you are not being recognized like others are being recognized, that you are being, um, <laughs> as one of my friends like to say, lied on. You know, if people are lying on you, um, people are diminishing you, people are taking what you are saying and doing and turning it and twisting it inside out, uh, and therefore leaving you kind of powerless to it. All of this is preying on you. Ironically, just like last month, uh, it has to be said that you have really, really good stuff here. And it's all stuff that, depending on how you look at it, can be used very much for your benefit. So uh, one of the ways that I would look at the Six of Wands energy is that if you are surrounded by people who are successful, uh, chances are you will also become successful because that's the energy you are choosing to surround yourself with. The more you are happy for others in whatever state they're in, the more appreciation and gratitude you show for others' happiness, the more that comes to you. So that's one way you could take that. The Eight of Swords energy is an energy that, although it is very difficult and it is very painful, the cool thing about it is that you are in control of it. You can choose to not be here. You can choose to see how other people's whatever is affecting you and not take that bait. That's your choice. The devil in reverse and the queen of swords. So what would one do? What would one have to, in our understanding, right, shift for these cards to be upright? Someone who is in a position of power in terms of intelligence with you, someone who you think is very intelligent, is trying to explain something to you and has been trying to explain something to you for a while. And you're just not understanding it. So that person may have switched their tactics now and become pretty harsh with you because they've tried everything else. The devil card, another person in a position of authority with you, but one that you are quite afraid of. Someone who has an authority over you that you may not necessarily understand yourself is also finding themselves kind of hitting their head against a brick wall with you right now because the stubbornness is an all-time high. So emotional stubbornness, which is what you guys do, is very difficult for certain personalities to deal with. Capricorns like for things to move. They move on, they move quickly, they don't look back. 
Cancerians are a lot about looking back, staying involved, not cutting ties, you know, very circular. And Capricorn is not like that at all. Queen of Swords is also very much known for cutting ties, very much known as someone who wields the sword first and asks questions later. This, this may very well be energy that you should be integrating right now and are not. And so they are flipping on you, if that makes sense. The energy that is not flipping on you that has yet to come in throughout the end of March is very, very positive, regardless of how you feel at the beginning. And it may not be easy. Once you work yourself out of this, and even if you don't, by the end of March, it will work itself out of you. And then moving forward, you have the lovers, the magician, page of cups in the moon. Page of Cups in the Moon I love because the moon events towards the end of the month are going to be awesome for you. You will feel renewed, but in a way that leaves you a bit tender, which I prefer. And then the Lovers and the Magician. Your love life, your emotional life, your financial life, all has areas within it where there is yet to be joy. And that joy is coming to you. There are people who very much seem to match up color-wise, energy-wise, vibe-wise, temperature of color-wise, you know what I mean? They seem to really vibe with you. But they are not what they seem. See how that card was hiding under there? They are not what they seem they have yet to reveal themselves to you. Hold up. Hold up. When good things start to come to you, it's very, very, you know, you could set a clock by when this guy shows up. I wouldn't do that. Not yet. Not yet. Let's do one outcome card. And then we'll move to the extended and we'll take a better look at the magician and the moon and the lover's card, but also that devil in the reverse. I want to take a look at that first, the two reverse cards. But let's pull an outcome card for March. See what we need to remember as March comes to a close. What's our, what do we need to know about the end of the month at the beginning of the month? <laughs> That's the way I like to put it. You know, like if there's that one thing that you were like, damn, I wish I had just known that at the beginning of the month. You know, what's that like one thing? That's what, that's what we'd like to know. All right. Oh, hello. So, Eight of Cups. You're either going to walk away or you're going to stay stuck in it. You know, it. what do you need to know at the beginning that if you just knew it at the end it would be easier? Get out of the cycle. Get out of the cycle. You don't need to be there. Whatever's got you angered, whatever's got you stuck, whatever you're looping about, whatever, it's just not worth it when you've got so much good stuff coming in. It's not worth it when you have your eyes open because when good stuff comes in, parasites come in. You're in a whole different thing over here. You're so distracted by this. I don't even know, like, what is this? Why are you so distracted by this? Why are you so 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 competitive with this energy i don't get it it's like you're sick of not having exactly what you want you're sick of not succeeding exactly the way you want and so it's making you kind of sick that it's happening for other people because you're like wait but i'm way more talented but i'm way more than and you know there's like this sense of entitlement also that's setting in because of it and it's really messing with you and the cards are like just get up and walk out of it Get up and walk out because there's so much good stuff that you need to be focusing on. This is just a cycle. The 8-8 eight, eight just gives it away from me. You know what I mean? It's speaking directly to that. You don't have to do this. You may be good at it. I'm not knocking you. No shade. You may be good at it, but you don't have to do it. 
you're just as good at being a savage. Remember that. I, you know, <laughs> my life is a soap opera. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, fine. All right, I'm going to do the extended right now. I love you guys. I will see you in just a minute. Remember, like I said, the extended's going to pop up. Or maybe I didn't tell you. So the extended's going to pop up right here in a box. You can click on it. That takes you to YouTube where you can rent it, where you can buy it. If it doesn't show up as an option for you, if you're getting an error message, if you cannot access it for whatever reason, I do not know why all the countries where it is available, it has been made available, you can visit my website and there are other solutions. So you can find it there. And then in the info box below, there will be info for two events in San Francisco in March, one event in New York in April. And yeah, just like Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff. All right. I love you, Cancer. See you in the extended.